Welcome back to Nova Aetis. Last time around, we found ourselves in... Uh, I don't know what to call this land. I was going to say the Holy Land, but I guess the Saranids would be the Holy Land. As you can see, the Mongol hordes have sort of been fought back. Now, my idea was that I was going to attack the Mongols and burn some of the villages and get a lot of cash from looting them. But for some reason, even though I took down two of their lords that were uh, quite wounded and I sort of forced the villagers to give me uh, up, give up cattle and all stuff, I couldn't seem to be able to raid them and fighting the steppe bandits didn't really yield that much money and so it was just the the war party just cost too much so I had to get rid of it because well I don't make that much I pay quite a lot of tax um, for my for my social status in this world and I also uh, paid a lot for the war party so it didn't really make any sense since last time though I have been able to get some more companions I got back Marnus or maybe I had him already back uh, in the last I can't exactly remember but then I got Gregor's which is spot spotting path finding and tracking and then Lorena as the medic because I can't remember what the other one was called but uh, I was taken down by those bastards these uh, heretics and I she disappeared and when I asked travelers where she is they said she's at her place or they said um, Jarvadine or whatever she's called is at or Yevil Jarvadine whatever she was called is at Jarvadine and there's no place called Jarvadine so I imagine there's some kind of bug and she has disappeared which was unfortunate but I found this other one that I trained up to be a medic. Um, anyways, before we really can get anywhere um, with some of the plans people have of me taking over kingdoms and whatnot, we need to increase our our class status. And at the current, we're not that far away from becoming part of the middle class. Right, we're still part of the lower class, but I think we're on the last step. And so I need uh, 56 points of prestige to get up to the next point. Um, but then, also, there was someone in the comment section that had an uh, interesting idea for sort of the roleplay aspect here. Now, a lot of this has just been me trying to figure out how the thing work, how the... the uh, skills and stuff and the prestige works uh, but if you remember in the beginning I did say that uh, we went through my the character creation um, my father was lower nobility but he's lost his title because of something and someone said well you do have you have found the sword of King Harless the second why don't you you know, work on usurping the Swadian throne, and maybe I added this myself. Maybe it was the Swadian king, the current one, that um, uh, took away the title from my father. So there's a revenge kind of thing, and it also works in with my character being quite ambitious. We worked our way up quite a bit. Um, wait, what's that currently? I am a craftsman, but I've worked my w I've worked my way quite a bit up. Um, I also saw some an another thing over there. Um, Temple of Minavera is broken. You can repair that if you gather enough resources, and you get 300 prestige, which would l push me up quite high. Um, so hopefully we can do that uh, at some point. But I'm gonna need a lot of material. Some of it though, because we uh, last time I wasn't able to go to the quarry you know what let's start moving uh, because I took you know if we're gonna usurp the Swanian kingdom I need to be friends with everyone basically but the king so I need to start you know m 
uh, doing quests for other lords, and so we got the Viscount of Suno, and I've taken a quest to clear out this uh, castle here of these bastards. Plus, I hate these people. So, what's this? Guild Hall upgraded. Fellow guild member, we happily inform you that the Guild Hall of Praven has been upgraded to the second level. 200 prestige points are awarded to you. How nice. Yes. I am now middle class citizen. Nice. Very nice. Um, also, um, part of the... the um, Merchant Guild and so on. I started an apprenticeship in Suno to become a blacksmith because, well, the bakery is not making me a lot of money. But if I can, you know, I don't know how the... I think the blacksmith work differently because it said crafting. So I imagine you possibly, you know, make stuff yourself. I have to go get m materials and then hammer it into armor and stuff and I think I can make a lot of money from that and a lot of you know we start to turn around money prestige we're getting up as we're you know rising within the Swadian kingdom um, and yeah all the good stuff now these bastards are coming after me 22 I don't like fighting these plus they're kind of they're kind of quick uh, which is Though, it's very good though that I've got the Gregors now, that we've got some pathfinding, so we can quickly move away from these bastards. Um, but this is very nice. This means I've, I've uh, come to become a citizen. So belong to the middle class, you're part of the citizens. You do not hold any titles, but you have finally earned your citizenship. You might, You have more rights and some political power in town. Nice. Um, and so at this point I need to get up to 900 to get to the next and I think there's only two of the middle class and then we actually get into the gentry which we need to get into um, and then maybe uh, King Harless will extend to to uh, me actually becoming part of his kingdom and maybe getting a castle or something or, or getting some some sort of uh, that I holdings that I can hold um, now we're gonna try to get away from these two bastards, these two groups. But what I'm all, I'm gonna take this down. But I'm also going to go check the quarry because I've, I, I've done some digging around, and uh, I think, well, I'm probably gonna need to do that because if I'm gonna repair this, I'm gonna need stone. So I probably need to cut some stone there. But also, there are precious metals of different kinds, which I probably need if I'm going to start crafting weapons and stuff. And also you could probably find gold there as well, and gold and silver, which could mean a lot of money. Anyways, let's go ahead and attack these extremists. And I bring with me my crew, uh, Quintus, Marnus, Lorena, and Gregor. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and attack this place. Right now, Marnus is actually carrying the sword of uh, King Harless II. So he's uh, he's the one that carries that around. So I gotta keep an eye on him so he doesn't run away because that's uh, that's part of my my claim to the throne is the is partly because I I hold the sword of the the old king. Fight! No. Damn it, he fell. Watch out! Fight hard, men! Storm these bastards' castle. Let's see. Some enemies spawn outside. No, they're in they're inside, they're up here. Follow Quintus! Quintus knows the way! Quintus is a, is a renaissance man. Okay, so we've got three enemies coming up from here. And we've got one guy spawning behind us. But we've got two bastards coming out of the door here. You know, this is quite an impressive castle. I don't know why we don't 
put some garrison or something here so that the uh, the enemies don't come back. Quintus! Fight! Ah, oh, Quintus! Quintus is in Renaissance, man, and he probably needs some Renaissance weapon. I actually ran into... Ran into, I say. I I went into a tavern, and I find... Or I found... Is what I'm... The word I'm looking for. I found... A... A man... That was selling firearms. He was selling... Uh, flintlock pistols and stuff. Or, well, they were called firelock pistols, but they were... The mechanics and the look of it was actually a flintlock. Um... Watch out! Bastard. Right. Quite a few down here. And they've got Lorena sort of trapped in behind the broken down doors. But then I turn up. First I slay the heavily armored one. And then just cut my way straight through all of them. Jump cut! Oh. more of them. I imagine uh, that this sort of levels according to um, according to what your level is. So it becomes harder to take these castles down the higher level you get or the more people. Wait, is that Lorena? No, that's that's a heathen bastard. Someone actually said that these guys were part of a heretic group. Well, history, like in real history, uh, someone in the comments said that they were actually part of a, a real historical her heretical group that operated in the south of France. Ooh, we actually got quite a lot here. Maybe I will get enough money from selling all of this. So that I can... Uh, well, we're probably going to get an extra bit from the Lord as well. But now I probably could get enough money to start up my... Um, my business as a smith in Suno. Because I believe I needed 8,000 and I didn't have that. Um, so hopefully the Lord of Suno is here. Albert, there he is, there he is. Wait, good sir. I have cleared out the bandits and Suno, everyone traveling to Suno should be fine. Look at that, the Midland Proven. What I what I realized you could do is you could go there and you can eff eff effective, uh, make the business more effective by spending a bit of money. And so now I'm actually making a bit of money. It might also be the fact that I'm... Uh, oh yes, I gained an undertrained because sometimes it's, uh, I don't think we have seen any of these actually turn up when I record. For some reason they always turn up when I'm not recording. Uh, well met, Citizen Henry. Splendid work, Henry. Your audacious attack is the talk of the realm. Not only of this town, but the entire realm is talking about you. No doubt. They, or others like them, will soon be back. But for a short while, you have bought this land a small respite. We are most grateful for you. Thank you, my lord, or Viscount. Well, he's probably lord as well. Um, you could enlist in his army also, but that's not what we're going to do. Um, let's see, some of these are... Some of these armors and weapons are probably quite good, so we could give them out to our companions, because I imagine you don't actually fetch... You know what, Quintus? I know you have this kind of renaissance thing going on, and it looks rather nice, but... Um, actually, you have quite quite the the points in this. I wonder, that that looks kind of strange, but it gives him... It gives him um, the encumbrance is actually higher with the hat. This weighs 3.3. This one, the hat, the feathered hat, weighs 4.5. Uh, 
while this one weighs 4.3. Um, it, it, you know what, it's probably fine actually, the kind of, uh, y how you are right now, because you get quite a lot from the Renaissance costume. I like how it says Renaissance costume. It's a uniform, isn't it? Uh, 38. 35 for all of these. The helmet, 31. This one's 35. This one's 41. But I don't really like the look of this this helmet. I don't like the look of it. So we're going to switch this out. And then... Maybe you should have a two-handed sword as well, maybe. Boots. The boots. 3, 14, 7, 8, 6. Yes. Okay, that's for you. Then Marnus. Well, you got a good sword. You know what? Since you got that helmet, why don't we switch it out? So 41, you got an extra point there. 32. Then we'll go a few ones. We can have this Lamada armor, but that's sort of mm, not Christian. So let's switch it out like this. How about this? Get some good gauntlets. Um, your boots, 10. That's, I think, actually, we don't have any better boots than that. So that's fine. And, uh, yeah, that's good. And then for Lorena, what can we do for you? I don't want to give her the Lamellar, because that's not the Lamellar armor. Because that's not good enough. Maybe, though, a helmet. And maybe, since she's on foot, a better sword. But I'm not sure. I don't think she has the strength. Do you have the strength? No, you don't have the strength to carry a two-handed sword. Uh, your boots, three. So that we can improve on your boots. I think we had one pair that was eight. There we go. Um, but yeah, otherwise that's that. So we upgraded our crew a bit. Uh, now we're going to go into Suno and we're going to sell our stuff. And hopefully we can open up the smithy. Otherwise, we'll head off into the mountains to cut some uh, stone. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to get... Plenty. I'm getting plenty here. Plenty of gold for what I found. These rascals had hidden away in the uh, evil temple of doom. So I got plenty, which means we'll wait here and then in the morning we'll go to the down to the square. The church square. Take a walk around down. Let's go down to the church square. And then we'll ask the guildmaster if we cannot open our smithy. And we'll see how the smithy works. Guildmaster. Good day, Henry. What can I do for you? Well, I want to start. I want to buy land for a productive business. Very good, sir. We in the guild know and trust you. And I think I can find someone to sell you the land you need. A couple of things to keep in mind. Skilled laborers are always at a premium. Yada, yada, yada. Raw material and so on. A blacksmith to make tools. Very good. The land and the material on which you may build the blacksmith will cost you 8,000 florins. Right now the blacksmith will produce tools worth 818 florins each week. While the iron needed to manufacture that batch will be 602. The labor and upkeep will be 120. I guess the profit would be 158 minus florins a week. This assures courage for price and so on. Yes. Um, yes. We will go ahead and start this. And uh, that's good. Uh, this also probably means that this guild building will also go up so I'll get a 200 bonus for that uh, which is good let's go to our blacksmithy area oh look at that I even I even changed my outfit as again polish item oh 
th this is uh, fancy doing. Forge on ironwork. Okay, but a uh, heat iron rod. Blow on fire. Damn, this is. This is uh, workshop inventory. Okay, can I access it? What's this? Use. Oh, look at this. Okay. To if I want to make tools, woodcutters, axe, mine picks, farming tools, trade goods, intermediates. Okay, so the different types of stuff I need, and then swords, axes, swords. And what I need for them. Okay, estimated profits and stuff. Swords, pole arms, maces, armor. Craftsman skill, I need 10 for this one. So what kind of armor? Okay, I probably should go on the other way around. Let's see. Okay, ooh. One thing I noticed with this is um, that a lot of these Renaissance things are obviously taken from the Warhammer mod because they've got like the Warhammer stuff on them. I've seen the uh, the the Sigmar uh, sigils and stuff. Okay, so we got armor, we got helmets. Damn, thi I mean this mod. Bullets, yes, making bullets, steel shields, trade goods, all kinds of nice stuff can be made here. This, I'm gonna have to take some time to figure out how this works. Master Smith, produce about seven days, very good, very good. So we can polish, we polish stuff here, polish the item here, we blow on the fire, and then we heat up the iron rods, then we go here to forge an iron work and then we got a chest here iron dirty water is that what I need uh, the workshop inventory though why can I not access that M I'm, I'm, do I must uh, maybe I need to put stuff in there this is interesting and uh, yeah I can't say this enough cool oh cool down and then psh. Okay, that was rather loud, but I mean the amount of work has been put into this mod makes it just fantastic. Oh, take rough, take rough iron rod, okay, and then then do I blow on the fire first? Blow on the fire. Okay, and then we put heat, heat and iron rod. Okay, and then forge an iron work. And then quench it. And then so on. And then what's this? Could I actually flatten Iron rod. Okay, I, th th hopefully there's a tutorial how to do this. I imagine I need to flatten it first, or when do I quench it? When do I put? Okay. Well, this will take some time to figure out. Maybe in the next episode, or maybe later in this one, I'll do that. But uh, right now, we need to head off up into the mountains and gather some stuff. Okay, ah, here we go. And once again, you remember the story of your uncle, a renowned duelist. He never lost a fight according to the stories. Never before I had such great favors. Many. I will follow in footsteps and fight to death or glory. Minus two iron, iron flesh. Uh, 80 chance of gaining good duelist trait. Um, the thing is, I already have good 
a good train. So, um, let's go for four then. Okay, so, oh, bad duelist. The same man would bet on this man. This man can lose a duel against a bad duelist. Shameful display. A shameful, shameful display. Minus per week. Per week. Okay, but the thing is, I've got a, oh, it, oh, it actually changed out my good. I thought maybe they would cancel each other out because I had a good, I was good duelist that gave me 10 points, but now I'm bad duelist. Okay. Well, that's a shame, but hopefully the, it comes around again and I can turn that around. Okay, here comes the bastards. 5.3, 5.8, so I outrun them. This is the closest to inquiry, and I actually had to ask the Lord of uh, Jellybeg Castle, or yeah, Jellybeg Castle, to uh, to set me up so I could go into the stone quarry. Right, here we are at the stone quarry. First of all, I need to equip the pickaxe. Now you may wonder, why did he bring so many? Well, they break down in the mine. Um, so, uh, I, I haven't really figured out the smelting part of this. Um, I think you can smelt coins is the thing you can do here. But I don't know really. So, uh, we're just going to go down in the mine and uh, cut some stuff up. Now, be careful because there are some cave-ins at times that will crush you. So, uh, we got stone right here. But uh, what we want to do is we want to go and take a look for the more precious metals which can be found. Let's see. Um, okay, not here. It's through here. So the second, second door to the right you go down through. And then as we get in here. Oh, that was a cave-in. You maybe heard a guy scream. So here we go. Here's... This might be silver or iron. It's iron ore. So we've got some iron. Um, let's see. There was nothing interesting in here. We're going to get some stone as well because I'm going to need some stone if I'm to repair that, um, that great um, temple. But I'm going to need marble as well, and I don't need know where I'm going to get marble from, but we'll, we'll figure out that at some point. So here's three rocks, even, with that interesting material. So there we got, there we got silver. And here we got more silver. Let's see what we get out of this one. Iron. Ooh, gold. Oh! I, you know what, this I did not know. Cut gold through the wall. Ah, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. You gotta have your eyes open then when you walk around here. I think I walked past that, I don't know how many times, and I just missed there was gold in the wall. Let's go through some more places here. Maybe there's more gold that I've missed. Could be stuck in the wall. Okay, now I think we're going back. Yes, we are. Uh, we don't want to go back there just yet. Um, I want to check out... Oh, we got one in the ceiling. This feels like it's going to be a cave-in if I, if I break this down. So I might just crush myself. We got stone and three prestige points. I didn't need that many prestige points, did I, to get to the next level, so maybe I can stay in the mine and get up to uh, the next sort of level of citizenship. I don't know what the next level is. Okay. Um, so we got some stone, got some gold. Let's head back to the beginning and go through the other areas to check if there's gold in the walls. 
Um, did I go through here? Yeah, there was nothing down here. Then in here, we've actually got some material down on the floor right here. Let's see what this is, iron ore. Iron is just as good because we're going to need that if we're <coughs> to make uh, weapons and stuff. But we're going to have to make them into uh, iron bars. I thought I could cut the wagon open. And then we're going to need some stone because I think I need 20 stone to be able to um, build up the... Um, What's it called? The temple. Hopefully that actually works. Like you can build it up and it's not like we crash everything. But even if, I mean, it's not a wa complete waste of time, is it? Because uh, if someone says, well, don't do that because that will crash the game. Um, I still have a load of resource. I've gathered a load of resources that I can sell for good cash. I mean, there's a lot of just blocks of stone and and stuff lying around. So why can't I just like take? The oh, that's wood. Actually, I thought maybe that was gold. How stupid am I? Then someone just put some gold bars down in a mine. That's wooden pieces. That's like ah, oh, that must be gold. I I've been down in this mine way too long, really. And, uh, yeah. Just keep an eye on the walls. For gold. But I think we, I think I've gone through everything, so it's just about cutting up these stones. So, looking at the time here, I only think I have enough time to explain the smelting. We'll go over the crafting of weaponry next time. And then I'll have we'll have time to perfect how all this works and so I have great knowledge over it. But anyways, we have been down in the mine. We've gathered some materials, some iron, some silver, some gold, and so on. Now we're gonna go ahead and smelt it. And as the arrows indicate, we're gonna do it up here in this smelting tower. Um, so we've got these uh, big yellow arrows to guide our way. And we're gonna go up here and we're gonna fill this mine cart. So we've got this cart right here and we click F to access it. And here you can see how much we need uh, for each of the these so what we're going to do is we're gonna fill up iron I think so we're gonna go ahead and fill up and you see the more I put in here the more um, ingots we get and then click ready we're gonna do four and then now you see it says empty the minecart so keep looking at it and then you hold down F and the cart is now pushed and we push the um, content in there. So, smelting ore to produce the base metal is an extensive process that requires skill. Leaving the stuff too long in the furnace will make it hard and brittle. Leaving it too short will result into weak. So what we want to do now is we're going to press finish when that is in between these two. So, I might fail this, but, um, ah, I think, I, yeah, I failed, damn. God's sake. Right, we're gonna have to redo this then. And I just wasted a load of material. I probably shouldn't have filled that much material into the cart. Um, but, okay, let's do this again. Um, how about silver this time? So, we've got enough for one silver ore. Ready? And then press. Put the cart in. 
And uh, now we're back here. I wish this area was a little bit bigger. There we go. I made it and I made one silver ingot. Right, so you get an idea of how the mine and mining business works. Now I'm going to do a bit more of this and then next episode will hopefully start off with me creating some stuff out of this that I can make stuff that I can wear myself but also stuff that I can sell so I can make quite the good money from that um, and then hopefully we'll keep that business blooming and I'll have a steady stream of income from that and uh, hopefully also I will be able to create tools tools that I will be needing to uh, upgrade or fix up the temple um, which we never actually take took a look at the ruins we probably should take a look at that uh, but spruce that up and get those 300 points for that which is good and yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.